Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to SPB Creative. This is Ashwati. In this video, I'll be showing you guys yet another DIY which is super easy and simple but looks so damn beautiful. So this is peacock feather design work which can be done on sarees, any tops, selvas and even to men's wear. So as you guys can see here, it is my family picture. It's me, my baby and my husband. Uh, I have done this peacock feather design on my saree, my baby's top and to my husband's shirt and we went to a function like this and everyone was uh, asking about this peacock feather everyone loved it a lot so uh, I hope you guys also will love it it's super simple super easy yet very beautiful so let's get started first we need peacock feather and I think we can get it from Amazon as well if not from any local store so we need to cut it out um, like that uh, thin feathers are there no we need to cut it out and make it very small and very uh, like we need that peacock feather to be very dense else it would not look nice so that's the reason we have to cut it short just as I have shown you uh, here if you can just get it more shorter that would be better then I'll be applying glue to peacock feather if you want you can just mark wherever you want to up, uh, put this peacock feather and on that fabric first apply fabric glue and then stick this uh, peacock feather on top of it that would be even better but if you are lazy like me you can even tr try this that's not a big problem though I have applied this um, fabric glue on uh, this uh, peacock feather and I have sticked it to this top. I have already done a video of uh, this top cutting and stitching even uh, this skirt as well this for babies. So if you guys haven't checked it out please do check it out in case we are interested. Now that fabric glue is uh, dried up now that uh, this peacock feather is sticked up properly we have to uh, put this chain this stone chain which is easily available in any craft local store. Uh, th this would cost like uh, 10 or uh, 20 rupees per meter which is quite inexpensive now we can put it around this peacock feather just like so so what we need to do is just first just put it around and see how much we need this stone lace and then cut it accordingly and after that um, take fabric glue just apply it all around this peacock feather okay very slowly uh, let it be as close to the peacock feather so that there is no uh, space in between fabric that is this top and this peacock feather just to have more perfection and neat look we are gonna do it in this way again it's all up to you guys as per your creativity you can change it and then as you guys have seen uh, I've applied this fabric glue and then slowly very slowly just uh, uh, put on this stone lace on top of this fabric glue trust me guys it is gonna stick don't worry at all it is gonna stick properly but then we need a little bit of patience we need to give it some time to stick it and um, and that's it what we can do is once it is uh, sticked properly we can um, like uh, go over it uh, with a hand stitch that would uh, be better as well but I didn't do it because uh, baby's dress I don't I mean like um, for my baby I don't use this top very frequently maybe like once or twice in a year not more than that and after that it won't fit them so I didn't go for that but if you want it to be more secure you can give a hand stitch on top of it okay so now that it is done you can just stop it over here it looks pretty but in case if you want to make it more beautiful what you can do is you can again take a bead lace like this uh, and again this is easily available um, it is called as bead lace and this uh, bead comes in different shape different size and different uh, pattern so it's all up to you guys in whichever way you want like you can get it now uh, I will be again just placing it around the stone lace and whatever measurement I need I'll be cutting it out and again we are going to stick it with the help of fabric glue and uh, if you want you can go ahead and use uh, this Ari Ari work is there no um, I didn't go for it because more, many of you guys don't know many of them don't know Ari work and I wanted to keep it very basic simple so that any beginner can do it uh, so that's the reason I didn't go for Ari work but then if you guys know it how to do it you can definitely do it that would be more beautiful and uh, if you want you can again buy single stone and stick it all around this peacock feather and already I have done a mirror work uh, with this peacock feather so I have done a video on it I will again leave it in card if you guys haven't checked it out please do check it out so it's all up to 
us uh, whichever way we we want like we can do it we can put on mirror stones individual stones bead work ari work anything like that around this peacock feather and uh, as i said once it is uh, dried up properly once it is done um, if we want we can go over it once again with hand stitch in that way the stones will be the stone as well as this bead uh, will be secure enough okay now i'll be just adjusting it uh, with a needle just to make sure that it is sticked up properly and here the stone lace was not in a good what to say a good shape it was not sticking properly so when you are getting stone lace pick please make sure that uh, it, it lays down properly so that's something very important so just adjust a uh, like that space and all with a needle or anything whatever tool you have it with you and then that's it let it dry so i have got a little bit extra at the tip so i'll be cutting it out so that it, it, it looks good and then once it is dried up very well it's um, i mean it, it, it's um, it should be dried minimum for uh, like uh, 24 hours maybe if not more just leave, leave it like that for good one or two days in that way to be dried up properly and then then only you start using it okay else it would be uh, coming out <laughs> all so that we don't want that right so just leave it to dry and then once it is dried up properly what we can do is just take a transparent nail polish and then paint it all over the peacock feather so that when you wash it it doesn't come off very easily but then i wouldn't recommend you guys to wash it uh, like just like any normal cloth very gentle and mild wash that do hand wash then it won't come off very easily uh, but uh, i can't guarantee you i washed it once and it didn't come off it was perfectly okay but i did do a very gentle and mild wash and again once you apply this top coat uh, leave it there for good uh, one day and let it dry up properly and you're good to go <laughs> please to try it out guys and let me know how it worked for you please do let me know in the comment section down below please do give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already see you very soon in the next video till then it's bye bye take care love you all